the other day when I realized that um, my Adobe programs had all updated, I, well, I have autom automatic updates turned on and I've never had an issue with them before, but um, whenever they rolled over to the 2023 version, my photo downloader totally messed up and I actually had to roll back bridge to the 2022 version because of that glitch. And hopefully they get it fixed because, yeah, I, I honestly, I do not like the look of the new bridge, so I don't know. Um, it's just one of those things that you have to get used to. However, um, it did, like, it messed up my downloader when I put my memory card in. I was getting, like, a um, device not recognized. Like, I don't know. Hopefully they fix that glitch, even though I don't like the new look of the new bridge. The point of this video is I am editing some photos in Camera Raw this morning, and I typically do not use the, oh gosh, sorry. I typically don't use the healing feature because I prefer to do all of my retouching in Photoshop, not Camera Raw. However, they have updated the healing tools and it is just blowing my mind um <clears throat> i may not use photoshop for any like that's i don't know i main the main reason i use photoshop is for all of i do all of my retouching there and then um really that's it unless there's a big like a a something large in the background or foreground or some something like that that i need to fix. Um, <clears throat> but these are the new healing tools. So used to, it used to just be a clone stamp and, but now they have added content aware, remove, heal, and clone. Um, so I'm just going to show you a bit. You can now that I'm recording, my mind is blank. Um, you can see the heal, the content aware remove is, I use that like heavily when I do my retouching in Photoshop, but it's a little bit cumbersome how you have to like do it. This is like incredible to me. So, um, I will have to get used to this because I'm so used to doing my retouching and like using the mouse and the cursor in specific ways. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so you just, that's the content aware remove. The heel is just like the, you know, in Photoshop, um, basically same, just works a tiny bit different. And then the clone stamp, I'm going to use all three of them so I can show you. Um, I'm not really sure where it's pulling from. That's my only like I just started, I just figured all of this stuff out, that this is like brand new with the um, camera off version 15. Um, but it's just like, oh my gosh, this is going to make retouching so nice. Um, I'm going to go, let's go 33%. And then, so if you right click and hold, it, you can change the size of your tool. But you can also see where you have retouched. And if you see, it's showing me where I have used each tool, um, which is also like super handy. You can also you can also do that over here by clicking show overlay. Visualize spots if you want to like get super detailed. Um, you can adjust that there. You can toggle visibility so you can see before and after like ugh, this is actually blowing my mind right now I don't know I'm just that much of a nerd you can reset the whole panel if you wanted to remove all of your edits um yeah I'm just totally geeking out on this right now this is amazing to me um anyway have you guys updated to the new Photoshop 2023? What are your thoughts? I haven't 
had a chance to really work with the Photoshop version of it. I know, like I said, bridge was not for me <laughs> um, until they fixed the glitch and then I'm forced to stare at the ugliness of it. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, just a bit about like, I don't, I know there's some other super cool features on the new camera raw. This one is, like I said, just like, uh, I love it. And I just discovered it and it's like making me so happy. So anyway, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.